Water methanol injection. Why it is so good, why you want to use it and why some misconceptions about it are actually wrong. To start off of, what is water methanol injection? It is basically a form of injecting an additional fuel or in a case of a water injection, uh, water into your engine to first of all cool down some parts of the combustion process or in the case of water just your air intake temperatures and also take some heat away from the combustion chamber but we're going to talk about that later but it's mainly to get more power out of your current system and with methanol you are actually raising your octane rating basically and lowering your knock threshold kind of the same way as if you were running uh, E85 or ethanol. There are a few kits out there, for example, from AEM or from Snow Performance, but I have chosen also for this demonstration the kit from Bosphorus Innovations. The reason why we did that is because they are located relatively close to me, but also because the price is very reasonable and they have a huge selection of systems, so starting from NA systems up to um, custom systems for if you want to run port injection so for example inject water methanol directly into every port of your cylinders or for example if you want it controlled by your standalone ECU. They also offer a huge variety of accessories and spare parts which for example Snow Performance does not do. They only have their sets or their kits and do not offer a lot of spare parts. So if something breaks or if you want to add something, that's a little bit difficult sometimes. They also helped us out with their stage 4 kit to use in our standalone ECU. Uh, in our case, that is going to be a Speedwino. How that is set up, I will tell you in a different video when in my tuning series about Tuner Studio, Speedwino, etc. But now we just want to focus on water methanol injection, what it is and the benefits of it. And of course, for our viewers, we have a 5% discount code. The code you can see right here. You can use that on the Bosphorus Innovations website to get your water methanol kit a little bit cheaper. There are a few ways you can actually use this. The first way would be, and how actually uh, some manufacturers also are using it, would be injecting water directly into the charge air or into the intake right before the throttle body. Uh, that is actually done by the M4 or M3 GTS, I believe, and that helps lower your air intake temperatures. It also is able to take away heat from the combustion chamber because of the uh, evaporation of the water in the combustion chamber. It is able to absorb a lot of energy and get your combustion chamber temperatures and therefore also EGT temperatures by some margin down. Also by lowering your air intake temperatures it will lower the knock threshold and therefore you will be able to raise your timing or raise your boost at the same timing levels. This can have a pretty large effect depending on where you are starting from. For example, if your intercooler is pretty small or just not as effective and you don't have room to install a bigger one or you live in a very hot climate, then this can help a lot uh, in that scenario. If you are running only mild boost levels and have a pretty good intercooler setup, the benefits won't be as large, but you are still doing your engine a favor if you, for example, are tracking the car because the temperatures are going to be lower in general. Some people may be concerned with the water or water methanol causing corrosion in the combustion chamber, but the amount that is injected is pretty small and also is evaporating and therefore does not really cause any uh, corrosion or any problems within your engine. Also it is injected into your piping uh, as basically a very very fine mist because the pumps that are used are ones that work anywhere from 5 to 20 bar which is quite a lot and 
a lot more than your intercooler or charge piping is actually going to use and therefore the wa water vapor that comes out of the nozzles is very very fine and therefore won't harm anything as for water methanol injection so methanol mixed with water in a 50 50 mix by weight this is an in addition to water you have the same benefits plus a lot more and they are a lot more pronounced because methanol actually have has a much higher octane rating uh, depending on what where it's measured it's i think about 120 um, that's even higher than ethanol um, that's why a lot of drag cars or race cars in general run methanol fuel injecting that in addition to your normal fuel uh, will actually raise the octane levels of your fuel and therefore obviously lower the knock threshold. And also, again, because methanol burns a lot cooler than normal fuel does, it will again lower your EGTs and your combustion chamber temperatures even more and the benefit will be even higher. So you can run a lot more boost than you would before and also a lot more ignition timing. I will actually document this in one of my future videos and there you will be able to see that with our setup with an 11.0 to one compression engine and that turbocharge with normal fuel, you will be able to run normal boost levels without having any knock. Something that is also a good thing to mention is that a 50 50 mix of water and methanol is actually non flammable so the concerns of the water uh, of the methanol catching fire and you not seeing it because the flames are invisible or kind of hard to see on methanol is very very low you only have to handle it with care if you are filling it obviously there are some people that run 100 percent straight methanol but that is not recommended now for some misconceptions about this there are people that say this isn't reliable you can't run this daily or a lot of people don't recommend it i'm actually in the camp of believing it is very safe if you take the right measures so in most applications you have a feedback LED, for example for a fuel or level sensor that you have in the tank. Most people say that, well, if there is no water meth in the tank, so if I forget to fill it up, then and it is empty and it doesn't inject, well, then I have a problem. Well, with a fuel level sensor or level sensor, that is not a problem because you can feed that pin of the level sensor back into the ECU and then the ECU will know oh the methanol tank is empty and you will be able to either choose a secondary boost map or only if the level is full or not empty then only then it will use the higher boost map for example and with modern ECUs not only standard ECUs but also standalone ECUs you are able to have a look or control knock so for example if it is not injecting for some reason although that is very unlikely because the components that are used are high quality um, the diaphragm pumps uh, will last for a long time usually and don't make a lot of problems the only thing that could make problems is if you do not install everything properly but even if there are problems if you have a knock control or EGT monitoring and EGT control, which I would recommend and for a performance application is something that I strongly would advise you install. Uh, I have made a video on both of that uh, in the past if you want to know more about that. But if you have set that up in most standalone issues, you can uh, select a table that will actually reduce boost or uh, ignition timing if it, the ECU sees any knock or too high of an EGT. Obviously the fueling or the air fuel ratios will also be different when installing this so make sure that your car is able to adjust the or your ECU is able to adjust the fueling accordingly because you are obviously injecting another fuel and therefore making the mixture richer so your ECU has to take away some fuel 
to be at the same level it was before. Standard ECUs will be able to do that, so will uh, standalone ECUs, so that should not be a problem if it's set up correctly. In comparison to E85, what benefits do you have? Well, obviously any E85 can be quite hard to get, and while yes, methanol can also be quite hard to get, but in theory you could also use ethanol, although it will have less of an effect of all these uh, benefits you have, but it will still work in that 50-50 mixture. Water methanol instead of ethanol will be able to allow you to use normal fuel while driving. So if you are living in an area where there is no E85 readily available and you'll have to get that uh, from somewhere else, or even if there is and you need to go somewhere where maybe it isn't, then you still have the capability of running the same tune uh, either way, whatever fuel you are going to run. The other benefit is that you are cooling your intake air temperatures with uh, the water meth injection, which ethanol actually does not do because it's just normal fuel that is being injected into the engine. So that's a benefit you don't have from ethanol. Also, the octane rating of ethanol is not as high, but again, it's a mix of water and methanol, so it's not 120 octane purely and also it is mixed with fuel so it's not um, a hundred percent methanol because your uh, normal injectors are still going to be working so you probably have the same effect as for octane boost let's say that way but i'd say it is a good alternative to a85 if you don't have access to it and the other thing is ethanol if your car does not uh, does sit for a while it will contaminate the oil much quicker or at least a lot quicker because uh, the water methanol isn't injected all the time while the ethanol is and therefore the ethanol can contaminate your oil and also clog up injectors, clog up fuel pumps, fuel lines, fuel filters. Uh, so that's not really something great if the car isn't driven, uh, driven daily. Actually, Moto IQ has done a really good video about uh, the long-term effects of running ethanol on a car. And there you can see uh, what problems that actually causes and they're not to take lightly. All in all, I think it's a good setup if you want to make more power while using standard fuel. If you have any questions about water methanol injection, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I wish you a nice day and goodbye.